our powder coating batch oven. Um, decided to break down one of the coils. So there's one coil, no, there's three coils total. So those two side ones are still working, but the bottom one isn't working. So I was troubleshooting it. And we'll remove these four screws. You can use a square bit or a flathead. So we'll go ahead and loosen all these screws. And then don't take them all the way out. Just loosen them a little. And we can lift up like that. Make sure the power is off. I already double checked, triple checked. And I hooked this on here. Make sure all the wiring is good. Looks okay. And I can tell exactly what's going on already. This. So this wire is burnt out. What we'll have to do is disconnect. Here, we'll put another female connector on there. So I'm gonna have to strip this wire a little. All right, we'll go ahead and change this. Put another bug connector on there, remove this one and slide that one in place. I'm gonna go get my tools. Okay, welcome back. So I went ahead and I was able to find a high temperature female connector. This wire, it looks like it just slid off. It didn't really break. So we'll sliding on, oh, there. There. So it doesn't look like this wire really broke. We'll just slide this on, we'll crimp that there and remove that, plug it back in. Just prying, basically just prying that off. And this one's pretty burnt out. Go ahead and trash it. So we just changed this not too long ago, this whole connector. But I'm, I think we just use this so much. So we're basically pushing this back up in there. And I need two hands, cause it's on there pretty tight. But that's basically it. After you get that back on there, you should be good to go. Okay, so I was able to reconnect that. And we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close her up. Go ahead and turn the power back on. Okay. Power on. Yep. I'm just hovering my hand over it, make sure it gets warm. All right, that's good. We're good to go. Thanks for watching.